Okay. Hey, what's up guys? Lampard Game here. Welcome back to Survive IL. So lately, I haven't been uploading because I'm busy for work. And well, you guys, you're not really communicating with me. Like I do, it is a small fan base, to be honest, but I can't just blindly upload content and hope you guys will like it because it's not fun anymore. If I'm just randomly uploading content into the large see guys the internet and YouTube it's just not funny more so and like if you notice know I don't even ask for you guys like and subscribe so the least you guys can do if you enjoy my content just leave your thoughts in the comments down below the thing is I I kind of like really need that because I'm stuck I don't know so yeah I'm turning back to Survive.io because since the core of this channel, no matter how much it's changed, it's always been a Survive.io channel and these guys are teaming. These guys are teaming. Uh, I can't tell I can do that. Okay. So yeah, I ha have been working on a lot of projects like Markiplier and different virtual tubers. I could be making skits and making it, you know, special. The thing that will make my gaming channel unique is I'm going to be doing horror satire skits and well satire basically it's like Simpsons and other maniacs, and for you guys who even don't know what those are, satire is a very popular comedy because it's a world completely upside down, and it kind of like reflects a lot on humanity. And sometimes the awful stuff that happens in satire for the sake of humor actually happens in real life. Another great example of satire is Mad Magazine, which if you guys don't know, look it up. You're doing yourselves a huge favor by looking it up. It, it's absolutely great. So yeah, I'm, I have a TikTok now and I'm writing a lot of skits and doing everything that comes with writing. And I decided since I have less time and I'm gonna make, you know, my YouTube channel be bigger and have more. I might as well make bigger projects. Now, I, I, I did stabilize, so I'll be uploading more. But, uh, yeah, this is what I want to say. Alright, let's get it like that. So I'm going out after that guy now. I'll have the guns in the best range. If I'm being completely honest. But yeah. I okay I did it. Be careful. Oh, he got me. So let's go on potato mold, even though I'm playing alone. No, never mind. I really don't like this. It's gonna be a classic survivor, yo. But yeah, like I said, now I'm gonna be going back in your content. But please leave suggestions. Now, even though I say I'll look into it. And I never do, it's not because I didn't, 
it's because I can't do what I said like once someone recommended it was a channel called Save the Gamer, really great. Also makes amazing content, I'll look into the channel. He recommended that I get Minecraft Dungeons, I said I'll look into it. And probably do it. Or not, just look into it. I never did it, that's because I couldn't. It's not, I'm not just saying that to make you guys happy. Now, I will be able to play Minecraft Dungeons in the future. I can promise that, but no specific due date. If I say I'm looking at something and I never do something, it's because I can't. And then another one, notice that, it, you guys will notice if you look really specific, I have a really old monitor. And uh, someone recommended a really good monitor. So I should have looked into it. And I never got it because I just couldn't. And like, things of monitors. It's not an absolute recommendation. So I'm just an example. Two of the best examples I could think of, but yeah, it's not because I can't or I just said it. If I said look into something and I never do it, it's because I can't. So yeah, I have a lot of content planned that this time I could be churning out a lot faster. And yeah, like I said, I've been, I'm gonna be using my time more efficiently and making bigger projects. Alright, where are they? Wow, that is, that is a powerful gun. Yeah, I really think it's just your mouse sensitivity and your ping that really makes you good at the game. Lately, my some members my family got my t keyboard really sticky the mouth really the mouse really sticky and i had to clean it out multiple times and whatnot so yeah now i've been practicing at the game i mean i'm all right at it i'm not doing well because of course i talk a lot and talking some of those really important things for games like that Alright, this gun seems faster than me, I don't know what I was doing going into that. But now that I said everything I need to say, lots of different types of videos and projects coming out that I've been really working hard on hard for you guys. Please, tell me more about what you think. I really do think about and take suggestions like them. Like I said, it doesn't mean I do them, but if I look into it, I really do it. And if I don't, it's because I can't. So please, be leave your thoughts in the comments down below suggest things to me and well yeah i have a lot planned out for you guys and it's just i really need you to do that because it helps me out i'm not throwing my channel into random directions and st spending lots of time studying random parts of the algorithm for you to make content that hope will be popular for me and it's not fun anymore so i have to do that it takes away the fun so now that we got that talked in, let's get to it. So, like I said, I have a lot of bigger projects coming on. Gonna be making a satirical horror comedy skit series on YouTube. And I'm gonna be practicing that on my TikTok, so when I make the announcement, I would really appreciate it if you guys at least check it out. Oh, I should have paid more attention to that. Now let's get into it for real.
guy has a good scope and he killed a lot of people with this guy. I really should learn the code for this place. Damn it. Now I'm dead. I'm completely dead. I really think my mouse is getting in the way of this. Like I don't know what kind of mouse it is, all I know is it's a fancy work computer mouse, it's not a gaming mouse, it's a working computer mouse for like office computer made for a very powerful office computer, almost server I mean the computer wasn't a normal server but the mouse is made with that kind of computers I don't really know how it works so that's probably why you know, I'm slow with it sometimes I really need to double or triple click Yeah, now I really want to talk about my TikTok again, so basically when Vines just came out, it was an app or website, and it's just like TikTok, the only difference is that the Chinese government isn't the best at advertising for countries outside of China, because of that, they're not really the best, but now that TikTok cleared up from when it first came out, it's really just like Vines. In fact, it just is Vines. In fact, when YouTube was first the thing, that's what it was, Vines. Some were cringy, some were bad, some were better. I mean, eventually, with the changes they made, it became what it is, but at first, it was sort of Vines, like TikTok. Obviously different, because it was in the early 2000s, Vines only came out, you know, much later. And TikTok, again, came out many years later. So yeah, it's not all that bad. Of course, it, every community has it, its toxic part. TikTok, it of course has its toxic part, but then again, YouTube is good stuff, so you can't put them at fault. I wasn't able to move out fast enough. That guy is toxic. Yeah, it's considered a toxic thing to do. You know this. It's like saying EZ when people say GG. When they do that. What an, I always target these guys mostly even when I know I'm gonna die because they think they're pro gamers. Like they either spend a lot of money or a lot of time sitting on their butt playing this game to get those, those pro skins. And it really annoys me. And it doesn't, it's not even that, that nice, it's not even that good looking. At all. That annoys me. So yeah, that's the thing with TikTok. If you look past all the stereotypes it has in the toxic community, it's actually pretty worth it. There are many, many funny TikToks. Like, if you guys know Memer Man, who is a, like, finds a meme YouTuber, he gets a lot of his videos from TikTok, and they're really funny. I know many very wholesome, satirical, entertaining TikTok creators. Not all the same, but one for each category. And it's gonna allow me to practice. I am good at drama and writing stories, but I'm not used for skits, so it's gonna help me practice a lot. And the de development I take on my TikTok channel, the the uh, characters I make will impact this channel a lot. But that's why I really encourage you to look past the fact. I mean, sometimes first impressions are a thing, sometimes they're not. Like, give it a chance. And so 
sorry, that's the last things I have to say. I'm done talking about that talk, and yeah, I have two big videos. My first skit, and a project I've been working on for, for a very long time. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did making it for you. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.